We've got not one, but two new pocket knives from Benchmade to take a look at today. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. I've got two new pocket knives from Benchmade that we're taking a look at today. I received these a couple weeks back and I decided to test them out, give them some pocket time, and it was kind of a hard decision to pick which one I wanted to carry each day. They're pretty small. I could have carried two pocket knives, but I typically only carry one. So I flip flop between the two over the past couple of weeks. And now I think I've gained enough of an impression to bring you guys a video on each of them. So on my right side here, we have a very new knife known as the Full Immunity. And then over here in my left hand, we have the Mini Claymore, which is an auto. So let's take a look at the Claymore first. The Mini Claymore from Benchmade has been a pretty popular pocket knife for a while now. It's constructed with an automatic push button and an integrated safety preventing any kind of unintentional blade deployment. It has Benchmade's Grivery handle scales which feel pretty good in the hand and it is very lightweight at the same time. There's a black drop point blade made out of a CPM D2 with a plain edge and this is something that we'll talk about in a little bit. It does have a reversible pocket clip for deep carry and this thing kind of just gets lost in your pocket because it carries so damn easily. This has an overall length of just over seven inches, a blade length of three inches, and a handle length of just over four inches. This knife is coming in at just 2.56 ounces. Now moving on to the new Benchmade Full Immunity. This one is also in their black class, so kind of a tactical knife, I guess. I think part of that tactical factor comes from the Wicked Warncliffe style blade on here. This blade is made from a CPM M4, which is of course a super steel, and it has a very nice, almost textured black Cerakote finish on it. There are double thumb stud openers that are accessible for left or right-handed users. And it is, of course, using the super popular Benchmade Axis Lock mechanism. Now, my particular version is finished with anodized Crater Blue aluminum handle scales, but they do offer them in two different colors as of right now. The Full Immunity is actually releasing today as I'm making this video, so... Availability may be a little bit scarce at this time. If you caught this video early, then there's a good chance that you could get your hands on one if you like what you see. This has an overall length of just under six inches, a blade length of just under two and a half inches, and a handle length of about three and a half inches. So this knife is going to be compliant in most places where they kind of frown upon larger pocket knives. So between these two blades, Mini Claymore and the Full Immunity, which one do you guys think I carried more in the past couple of weeks? If you know me, it's actually kind of a hard decision. I really like Warncliffe style blades. I do like small blades like this that are just super slicey and it has a really fine point on there to open packages and do all your typical EDC work with. But then again, this one's all black. It's pretty dang light and it is a little bit bigger. This one shares some characteristics with another one of my very favorite knives that Benchmade makes. So the mini Claymore was in my pocket just a little bit more than the full immunity. So when it comes to auto knives, I really don't carry auto knives very often, but like I mentioned, it does have this integrated safety on here. There's kind of a nice fidget factor to this safety alone. It's very clicky. So instead of flicking your knife in and out, I kind of just like fidget with pocket knives like most people do. So I would find myself just kind of clicking this quite often. Because this thing is so light, it fires very hard. You actually have to kind of get a good handle on it because snaps into place. This grivery, grievery, however you want to say it, material on here is really lightweight. I have quite a few Benchmade knives with this handle material on here, kind of comparable to a fiberglass reinforced nylon. And while this is the mini version of the Claymore, it still fits in my hand pretty well. Kind of slim where you're actually getting a purchase on this. Not much of the back of the blade sticks out, but definitely a very nice user knife. The blade shape on here is something that's just very standard, which I tend to like in a lot of my knives. And you can see it's made out of a CPM D2, which I was not aware of. I really don't stay up to speed with a lot of the new steels that are coming out, which seems like every other month there's a new steel. I'm not sure how long CPM D2 has been out, but I was always under the impression that D2 was like kind of just a tool steel. It's good enough for a pocket knife, but apparently 
This CPM D2 is a lot better than just standard D2, which I'm kind of used to. I have broken down cardboard boxes with this knife. I've done a lot of my typical EDC tasks and the blade on this thing is just still super sharp, like still hair popping sharp. Haven't touched the blade up at all and it's definitely seeming like this is more of a super D2 steel. The mini pocket clip on here is also very nice. I find that these mini versions of the clip are a little bit more stiff because obviously you have less material to move there. So sometimes after using this blade, I would put it away, throw the lock on, and then just kind of drop it in my pocket. And it's so small and lightweight that I would almost lose it. It would just be kind of buried in the bottom of my pockets. But between this and the full immunity, I did end up carrying the mini claymore quite a lot more. So moving on to the full immunity, this blade is going to be good for people who have some kind of blade restrictions in their state. Maybe California, I don't know your laws, don't live there, don't want to live there. However, this is definitely gonna be more compliant than some of the larger offerings that Benchmade has out there. Now, I really like the materials on this one too. Aluminum scales, it has some pretty cool texturing to it. I don't love the anodized blue. I think this would look better in like a anodized charcoal gray, maybe with some silver or black thumb studs on there, which are ambidextrous. It did come with a little lanyard through the lanyard hole there. Nice little bead on the back. And when it comes to a knife this small, that lanyard actually kind of helps you get a better purchase on the knife. One, it's easy to pull out of your pocket, but two, if your hands are big, you can actually kind of grab onto the bead as well. That way this knife isn't gonna go flying out of your hands. I do like the access lock, however, right now this is a little bit stiff because it has not seen as much pocket time as a Claymore. I think over time, I'll be able to kind of flick this thing open and close like I do with most of my Benchmade knives just using that access lock. And this blade with the aluminum handle scales just has a better feel to it, in my opinion, than the Claymore. This to me feels like a cheap knife, although it is not a cheap knife, that's for sure. Benchmade makes really high quality stuff. This one is significantly more expensive and it's going to be a very particular person who buys a knife like this. But the materials are definitely a lot nicer on the full immunity. You have this smaller blade, Warncliffe style design, and this one is made out of a super steel that I am familiar with, M4. I've got a few blades with M4 on there. I don't think I've ever sharpened any of them so far because I've got a lot of pocket knives that kind of rotate around but that steel is very good. The tip is super fine on this thing, so you can really do a lot of detailed work. This has the same deep carry pocket clip as the mini Claymore. Again, a little bit stiff. These are pretty stout pocket clips, but obviously this knife is not gonna go anywhere. Flow through design on there. That way you can just kind of blow any dust out. Skeletonized liners in there, which make it probably a little bit more lightweight than as if those weren't there. And then since this knife is small, you do wanna have a pretty good grip on it. So you have pretty aggressive jimping on the back, not to a point where it's like cutting into your thumb, but it's a very solid purchase on there. So I really do like this little blade. I just wish it was a little bit of a different color scheme because pocket knife, although it's a tool, it's kind of like an accessory at the same time. You carry it all the time, so I like all my stuff to match. Now between these two blades, I've got a few comparisons down on this table here in front of me. So let's take a closer look and give you guys an idea of the size of the mini and the full immunity. All right, close up time, mini Claymore. This one obviously shares a lot of properties with some other Benchmade knives out there. So the comparisons are pretty easy when it comes to this blade. Right here I have the Carbon Fiber Elite version of the Bug Out. This is a knife that is super comparable just because similar blade shape, very similar length, of course not auto, a little bit slimmer. Grivery versus CF Elite handles on there, both really good options. Right here we have the Arcform Slim Foot. This has a Protec action on it, feels really good in the hands, kind of a styly blade. I really like this thing and I've done a video on that one in the past. And then right here we have a Burnley design knife. One of my buddies, Lucas Burnley, designed this with Boker, Boker Plus Quaken. Kind of has that ray skin inlay there. Really cool knife, and this one is a lot more budget friendly than the other options. Now moving on to the full immunity, there are not many blades that I have in my collection that are similar in size to this guy right here, but I found some that are fairly close. 
So first up, since we're talking about Benchmade a lot today, the Benchmade Mini Bug Out. This one was white, dyed the handle scales black to kind of match everything else. And S30V blade on there. This is a sweet little pocket knife. That one is just a little bit larger than the full immunity. Next up we have the Protec SBR. Super hard hitting S35 VN blade on there. Aluminum handles, Les George design. That one is a little bit closer in size, but they're all relatively the same. And then last but not least, we have the Protec Runt. This thing has some really cool patina on it now. And this is tiny, definitely smaller than the full immunity, but kind of the same category. If you are in California and you have a blade length law in effect, this one will definitely fit the bill just as the full immunity will. So there are some comparisons to kind of give you an idea of the size of these two blades. So that's all my thoughts for now on the Mini Claymore and the full immunity. If you guys have any questions on these blades, let me know in the comments down below. They are fairly new, but they should be available today across wherever you like to purchase your knives from, benchmade.com or any other retailer for that matter. I'm curious between these two, which would you guys choose? Mini Claymore, full immunity. In my testing, I of course opted for the Mini Claymore, but I still really like the full immunity as well. Just wish it was a different color. So that's all that I got. If you guys are new to this channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every single week. As always, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.